Welcome to my bakery! We're going to be making lots of delicious foods like buns and pretzels eventually, donuts, all kinds of things. I think it starts you out small. I've already done the tutorial. I actually lost my footage so I have to do it again but it's okay because that means it will be like faster for you guys. You don't have to sit there listening to me reading because I know what to do already so that's one bonus. I suppose. <laughs> so there is that. But this is a really cool game. Like I have played a little bit already and it seems really fun so far. It's a realistic cooking simulator game and I'm really into them at the moment. If you didn't already know, I previously played a game called Godlike Burger, which is a very chaotic cooking simulator game. It's a really hard game as well. Like if you die, you lose all your money and everything. It's great. Check it out in the description if you are interested in that. This is a more real relaxing simulator game from what I can tell. There's no mad rush or anything like that. It's just a really relaxing time where you get to make uh, lots of lovely food. Welcome to your bakery. At least I think anyway. Uh, your biggest dream come true. You've opened your very own bakery and you're ready to flood the city with fresh pastries. Delicious. However, it's just the beginning. There is a lot of hard work ahead of you. Build reputation, gain experience and become successful in the world of baking. Yay, let's do it. There's a lot of responsibilities, but don't worry, you'll make it. After all, this is all you've dreamed of. The first order is waiting for you. All right, so this cork board here is where you collect your orders from. So we are going to collect our first order here. So here we go. Our first order is to make three breakfast buns and we got to deliver it in five minutes as well. This is the map here. What you do is there is a baking section of the game and all also a delivery section of the game and when you're on the delivery section you get to ride a car and deliver it to the location in question but that's a little bit later on all right so we got to collect our breakfast bun so here's our breakfast bun and what we have to do now is are we going into the recipe book at the moment so this is our recipe book where it just gives you a little bit more information and it tells you like each step in how to create the bun. Like you don't really like need to read through it like entirely. It's just for extra flavor, I think. It's nice to have though, but yeah, um, you don't really need to refer to this this that much because it gives you basic stuff on the left hand side that you can just kind of keep track of so that's handy so first things first we gotta get our bowl and we gotta collect our ingredients so it tells you on the right hand side what ingredients you need and how much and you can also increase the scoop size of your thing um i also actually because of the tutorial it's gonna want me to make a mistake so there you go, just made a mistake there. So you don't need five grams of butter. So you can press the right stick to like get rid of it. So you press the left mouse button to put the butter in and then the right mouse button to get rid of it like that. And you can also put it in the bin as well. So if I fill it up to, to the max, I can put it in the bin over here like so. So you can do that as well if you mess up. So it's all good. Um, So we need wheat flour, but we are out of wheat flour. So we need to go to the baking supplies and we need to purchase our wheat flour because in this game, you need to keep track of all of your supplies and you need to make sure that you have everything in stock, right? Just like a proper business. Right, so when you order some wheat, you can see there's a timer on it. It says there's three minutes and because you have a courier that goes out and collects the ingredients for you but you can also pay extra see it's 12 pound for instant delivery so we don't have to wait so you can do that as well but i think that's about it for for that stuff actually so now we're going to collect our ingredients so we can see that you can increase the scoop size it's in the bottom left so i need 150 grams of wheat flour so i'm going to go for 100 and then 50 and that makes 150 right and then you just go and just collect like the rest of the stuff so we need six grams of yeast we need 60 millimeters of milk so let's do that um wait that was water <laughs> it's fine it's exactly the same for milk and water i just like didn't realize <laughs> it's fine and we also need some sugar up here as well so now we have all the ingredients what we need to do is we need to place it in the mixing bowl yay and we can also upgrade the mixing bowl but i found out the hard way that what you buy in the tutorial doesn't carry over like once you're done but this speeds it up we just brought an upgrade to speed up the 
the um, the actual mixing, which is what we're doing right here. It's just speeding it up a little bit. We're just boosting it and making it a little bit faster. And I think it's done. So now we take it out and we just put the, the dough on here like so. And we're going to be able to chop it up into little things. So, so on here, there's like a little dial where you choose what kind of bread that you are making right now. So of course we're doing buns, but there's like bagels, pretzels, round breads, long breads, baguettes, croissants, all kinds of things. So, so lots of different things that you can create here. And as you just saw, there's a little mini game that you can do. And this one, you have to sort of move the radial, it would like put the shapes in like the radial kind of thing. And then we get to have the perfect dough balls, right? So that's good. Now we got our freshly formed buns. We have to pick up our tray here and put our buns in all ready for the toasting. <laughs> Yay! In it goes. Now I don't think you can actually speed this one up, but we can read this. It's a little info about the like the, the buns whilst we're waiting. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That's why you should choose the best of products. Breakfast bun was made to provide all essential nutrition, which helps you work till evening. Grab a bun and enjoy a tasty snack. It looks really nice, right? I wouldn't mind one of those but I'm not often um, I don't often have breakfast to be honest with you but it looks very nice and there we go look at all our hard work we have made these very tasty buns for our hard work so it's very nice Right, right we're just gonna put this to the side a second and what we're gonna do now is we're going to wait why is it telling me to put it in the oven is it not cooked it's cooked <laughs> what are you talking about it's already cooked man now it's time to take the pastries out. I'm just a bit too fast for the tutorial here. <laughs> like, I don't know what's happening. What is wrong with you? Oh, okay, I've done it. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Now we've done this, we gotta put our delivery into the crate. This is like the little delivery cake crate that you use to deliver um, stuff. You have to put it on this blue mat uh, for delivery. So when it's on the blue mat, you know it's ready for delivery. When it's not on the blue mat, then it's not ready for delivery. So very simple stuff indeed. All right. So now that we've done that, oh, it's just been a bit slow. <laughs> There we go. Now we can go out and do the delivery section of the game. So let's go and do that and make sure we get these nice, hot, steamy, like, desserts, these delicious goodness to the customer in question because we don't want to have cold buns. Like, they don't want to have cold buns, right? So we get bad reputation and bad service. We don't want that. So we got to be speedy, right? So let's let's do that. I'm sure we'll get there just fine. But yeah, the loading screens are quite long in this game. And I've also had a couple of crashes as well, which has caused me to lose footage. So <laughs> be wary of that. The game only just released today. So I don't know if it's just me who's going through these crashes or if like any other people are experiencing this as well. I'm not too sure, but I've had a annoying time with it <laughs> I guess you could say it seems like a really fun game so it's like a little bit of a shame that I've been experiencing things like that popping up as well okay this is not the end of your task no it's not we gotta go and deliver our orders so let's go and do that so you have this like tab here so you can call for a delay if like you don't think you're gonna make it and get like bonus time I don't think it affects your order if you do that you can reset the position of your car if you get stuck decline the order and this opens the map so quite a few different things that you can do there so very simple stuff it's very simple controls as well and we are gonna see if we can make it to our delivery place in question that would be great let's go <laughs> we got this but yeah when you're making these deliveries sometimes there can be like roadblocks and stuff like that in the way so you kind of have to like plan your route around them so that you get to the the place you need to get to like in time oh look at that that was almost perfect. <laughs> I almost got it in there like perfect time. Yay, we did it. 100% score, 0% delay, and we get 150 smackaroonies for our delivery. Very nice. And we get some golden bread, some sourdough starter, and 300 bowl capacity. And that's basically the tutorial. So with that out of the way, we can start our very first day and make some very delicious things for our customers. 
Maybe it's time to take a little break from all that baking. Do you know what's always fun? Makeovers! Right, you can renovate your um, bakery. You can upgrade stuff and you can change the way it looks and stuff like that. So you just go into the customization option here and the first thing we're going to be able to customize, you can do the floor as well, but we can't, we can't do that. I don't actually know entirely how much you can customize, but I think there's quite a few things. So we, we can do this main table in the middle here. We can go for a minimalistic table here. I wonder what the difference is. I don't know actually. Let's see. And there we go. I got my first... Congratulations, you completed your first order. Don't forget what you've learned today. So even though we just got like that upgrade for the table, everything gets reset once you moved out of the tutorial. So we won't have any upgrades now, <laughs> but we're doing our first day. Let's do it. We got one bronze bread. So we have a different order from last time because the first thing that we made was a breakfast bun. So this is the breakfast bun and which we did in the tutorial. And now we're doing a bronze bread. So it's a little bit different. I don't think it's that different, but it's a little bit different, I suppose. All right. So for this order, we need rye flour. We need 500 grams of this stuff. So there we go. 300 grams of water we need 50 grams of olive oil five grams of yeast perfect five grams of sea salt and two grams of sugar and there we go let's just put it in here and start it up of course we i don't think we have the upgrade for this anymore oh we do have the upgrade let me keep the upgrade i swear it didn't let me keep that last time but i don't know anyway it's fine i don't think it lets you keep the minimalistic table at least i didn't think it did let's go into customization and have a look see you have to buy it again so like that's gone what about the mixer like let me see if i can figure out uh the mixer hold on a sec you have to press u it says own so you get to keep the turbo mode for the mixer but you don't get to keep the table at least I don't think so. So yeah, you have to like upgrade that again. So if we go into customization, I'm just kind of curious about what you can upgrade. And you can do the floor, you can do, it's locked for some reason. So it looks like you have to like unlock that or something. I'm not entirely sure. So I don't know, I guess we'll have to see. Can you upgrade the, I don't think we can upgrade the, no, I don't think we can upgrade the oven just yet. So just have to wait a little bit for that as well. All right, are we done? All right, my mixing thing is done. We got our stuff here. We're making bronze bread. And I'm pretty sure that this is still considered a, a bun. It says round, was it round bread? I don't know. Hold on a sec. In the recipe book, this was called a breakfast bun. This one's not called a bun. I actually think this could be a round bread. Let's go for a round bread. I don't think it's gonna make too much difference to the actual like I don't think the mini game changes or anything but I think if you choose the wrong option you don't get like the best score and stuff so we want to make sure we're doing this right so that's the plan I want to be the best baker in town I want to have the best produce I want everyone clamoring for my lovely lovely delectables <laughs> come to my bakery what would you buy if you came to my brit bakery would you buy a bronze bread or a breakfast bun <laughs> i don't know i think i would go for this break for this bronze bread because it says that you can have ham and cheese with it sounds good it says this is a simple most traditional kind of bread made from one of the most basic ingredients that provides all nutrition values that help start your day it tastes great with ham or cheese can you imagine that with nice melted cheese and ham for like lunch or something sounds delicious sounds very nice if you ask me so I wouldn't mind <laughs> so yeah I think I would go for that for sure but we'll just wait until we start making like donuts and stuff like that I'm super excited about that that's going to be cool let's look at our options before like um this finishes because we've got some things here we can look at so this is our reputation right now. We are a baby baker, but I'm sure one day that will change. We got, um, this, this is our like next rewards and stuff once we level up. And then we have, 
Mossy Bakery Simulator. For some reason, usually there's a picture here with like your Steam picture. For some reason, mine's not showing up right now. I don't know why, but it's fine. And then it's got my name and my address because I totally live at sparkling downtown Roaring Avenues. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> my current funds. You're only allowed to visit me if you want some fine quality produce, all right? <laughs> Come to sparkling downtown Avenue for the best buns in town. <laughs> I don't know. So apparently you can take a loan here if you want to. I don't have a loan and I would rather not take one if I can help it. So I guess you can go bankrupt if you're not managing your funds well. N uh, number four does, this is customization mode. Number five is buying like, um, resources for your bakery so you obviously need to keep on top of like what's happening in your bakery so you need to make sure you have supplies ready and everything and just keep an eye on it kind of thing number six resets your position so if you get stuck you can press number six and it resets you so that you're not stuck because so there is that wait what what happened <laughs> where's where's my bread where are you is it hiding in there what's going on i have no idea what <laughs> I didn't put that there. There's a ghost in my bakery. There's a haunting. <laughs> what do I do? Where, where you at? I'm sorry I took so long with my, my bread, man. Jeez, so impatient. Look at that. Doesn't that look yum? Looks super, super delicious. How do I, how do I hide it and see it, see our bun? Look at that. Do you like it? Do you like our glorious bun? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It just looks really tasty. It looks yummy. I like how you can hide your UI like that. It's very easy to hide your UI, so it's great. All right, my bronze bread is going in there, and we're going to go and take it out for delivery, and I swear I'm not going to mess, mess around too much now. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go to the city and deliver a lovely, crispy, delicious like piece of bread they're going to be so happy that they're not going to know what to do with themselves and they're going to want to return to our bakery the very next day i'm sure of it it's going to be glorious it's going to be great there's tons of different ways as well like i noticed when i was looking at all the different things that you can get in your bakery that there's all different like um machinery that you can get for your bakery so we've only really explored the basics at the moment but i'm sure that there's going to be tons more things to pop up as well as we like keep going and stuff we do have a roadblock right up there let's check the map to see if we can plan our route i just have to sometimes it like takes a while for it to come up for some reason okay so if we just go forward a second and then we're gonna make a, a turning on the right so we're gonna we're gonna do that for some reason i don't know why but um i don't i don't think it, like i think i don't think everybody suffers with this when they play this game but, so, but for some reason my mini map is really blurry and i don't know why exactly you can just load up like the big map but it's a bit annoying i'm not really paying attention to the mini map because of that so yeah i don't know why that's happening for me um entirely but it's a thing that's going on so i'm just ignoring it and just using the the normal map here you can quite easily get to your destination with this instead so it's fine so there is that okay you can actually i don't know if i can show you actually but you can actually sort of bump into other people's cars and like their wheels and stuff will go flying off i don't think it affects you much but it affects like other people so it's quite funny when that happens like it affects npcs and stuff like that all right delivered a hundred percent yeah we're on a roll guys happy times we got some golden bread some sourdough starter and 300 bowl capacity very nice I'm very happy with my day i think we um had a very good day today so that's good all right shall we do another day let's go and crack on with the next day and see what we have we got a five minute bakery two we got to do of two bronze bread this time so we'll do two of them instead but we did one so i'm sure we can do another one so you might notice that because we're doing two of them i think we need like double the ingredients so we need a kilogram of flour we need 600 grams of water it's a lot 
lot. It's a lot of stuff that you need this time, right? 10 grams of yeast. We need 10 grams of salt, four grams of sugar. Oh, I went a bit over there. That's okay. I'll just take it out though. And we're just gonna make sure to speed this up like this. I think if you go to the top, it like, it has a cool down. You don't want to go like, you don't want to like overdo it because then it like takes longer. So I found that it's best to just keep like hitting the button every now and again to like speed it up a speed it along kind of thing but just not like go all the way up because then it just kind of takes longer <laughs> but yeah you can do that all right let's turn it off and we got our produce look at that lovely mixture perfect all right let's put that on and we're going to make some lovely bread today we're going to go for round bread again i'm pretty sure for some reason it won't let me click it there you go <laughs> It was being a bit weird, but that's okay. Wait, why'd you go over there? What what happened? Did I do something wrong? I have no idea, but it's okay. All right, let's put this little pretzel in there as well. Oh, now it's gone to the other side. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I always thought that if it went to the red side, then you did something wrong. That it was like bad or something. But maybe I'm just thinking too much into it. I'm not too sure. Let's see. No, it seemed to. It seemed to have gone well. It seemed to have gone fine. So I don't think I I need to worry too much there. All right, let's put this in the oven. Make it like bake and have a lovely time. So yeah, I don't think there's... What does number seven do actually? I'm not sure what number seven does. See number seven at the bottom corner? I don't know what that does. I like clicked it and nothing really happened. So I don't know. So you can see we have 460 funds right now. We should check our resources. Actually see how we're doing. Maybe we could buy a bit of this. 1.6, maybe I'll go for that. Mm, maybe I should do it at the start of the day or something though. What do you think? Shall we do it? It means we have to stay here for a little bit though. But I just brought some, so it's gonna take like three minutes to arrive. I don't know what happens if you like buy it and then like leave for the day. Was it, would it still be there the next day? Like I don't know how that works but I guess we're going to experiment and like find out I suppose if we buy it a day in advance will it still be there the next day? We'll find out. So what I brought was what did I buy? <laughs> I don't know. I just brought some resource. I brought um rye flour wasn't it? Yeah, I brought some rye flour, so we'll find out tomorrow if we have maximum rye flour or not. We shall see. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some different orders. Actually, it's going to be really fun just to see what kind of things you can make in this game. I like games like this, they're relaxing. All right, here is our lovely, lovely bronze bread. Just gonna put that over there and we're ready for delivery. Let's go. Let's go to the city and make sure that we deliver on time. I think this is one of the coolest things about video games is that I am absolutely terrible at cooking in real life, but I can just experience being a top chef in video games. And you can do whatever you want in video games and it's so easy to pick up and I don't know, I just love that you can just like live another life, you know, it's so cool. Maybe one day I will learn how to cook properly, but I'm terrible. So it's not this day. It's so much easier in video games than in real life, isn't it? <laughs> At least I think so. You need a lot of patience of cooking in real. All right, so let's plan our route. Where are we going? It's not on the map yet. All right, so it's down here. So if we just take a right, the routes are very, very easy at the moment. You can also hire a courier. I don't think I actually told you that. The tutorial does say you can hire a courier later in the game that does all the driving aspect for you so like later into the game you don't even need to do any driving at all like you can just hire couriers to do it all the time if you like don't like the driving aspect of the game you can totally do that and I could see why it's not the best <laughs> let's just say that I definitely think this game shines in the actual baking aspect of the game that's what I want to do this is okay it kind of like it kind of does shake it up though like you know I guess it makes it like you're doing something different instead of just baking all the time I suppose so there is that maybe I just did it to mix up the gameplay I'm assuming but there we go we got 100% again so we're on a roll fantastic oh we leveled to three yay look at all our rewards we got old-fashioned loaf 
silver loaf and farmer's loaf a wholemeal flour so we've got a different kind of flour now as well so that is fantastic looking forward to uh, creating some new things that would be great actually all right let's go pick up our new order start a new day all right so we can make two old-fashioned loaves or two farmer's loaves they give exactly the same amount of xp but this is a different place. This is the donut dude. I'm gonna do the donut dude. I'm gonna go somewhere else this time. Why not, right? All right, let's go and check it out. So I want to see if, because I brought some resources and I want to see if that carried over. So I brought some rye. It did. So maybe you can buy it a day in advance so you don't have to like wait for it. So like that's pretty cool. I might buy them a day in advance so I don't need to worry about that kind of stuff. All right, anyway, I got my bowl. Let's get some some ingredients together here so we want 640 grams here what's the lowest i can go for 220s all right there we go we don't need any milk okay fair enough we need 500 grams of rye flour we need 300 of sourdough starter this is a new resource actually but that's gonna be easy enough to do some wheat flour 320 grams of those so let's do that so perfect 24 grams of the salt so let's do that too Ta -da -da -da! we did it now just to turn it on and get this thing going see if i can get this speeding up again for some reason i am actually speeding this up i think but it's not showing it on the bar i don't know why it just like i think sometimes it just like glitches out or something i'm not really sure let me have a look at the upgrades it still says there's boost on there so i think i still do have the upgrade's still there i don't know something's got going weird <laughs> it's fine oh i made a mess on the table dang <laughs> that sucks all right we're making a farmer's loaf so this is going to be a different thing that we're going to be doing here is it a long bread what would this be under i actually don't know you have to choose the right option otherwise you don't get the best score let me see you can see the symbols at the bottom in the recipe so i'm pretty sure that this is a long bread so we're gonna go for that um instead all right still got the same mini game here i don't know if the mini games like change up as you proceed through the game i'm not really sure but i guess only time will tell right so let's hope i've done this right that piece of bread on the right is like it's, i don't know it's, it's having a mind of its own i really feel like my, my bakery is haunted or something <laughs> i don't know what's happening here <laughs> i don't know we'll see wait it's got exclamation mark i've done something wrong what did i do wrong that's the question i've done something wrong here and i don't know what okay intriguing this recipe was perfect for those who want to change their lifestyle it's made only of natural ingredients brought from local farmers a farmer's loaf makes a perfect snack for all health freaks something's wrong because it's got an exclamation mark near it which means i've messed up somehow and i'm not entirely sure where it doesn't tell you that's the thing with this game is that it literally doesn't tell you where you've messed up so what i'm gonna do is i think i'm gonna start again and just like see if i can get it right this time because i'm pretty sure that that's wrong which means i've also wasted some materials too i don't know what exactly i did wrong i'm just gonna put it in and see what it does when it's cooked because i'm a bit at a loss here as to what i've actually done wrong <laughs> i don't know because it shouldn't have an exclamation mark on it like that do you think we should craft this into something i've already gone this far with it so i might as well like do something with this thing i suppose <laughs> i don't know should we make it into round bread or something i feel like this is probably wrong but i'm gonna try it anyway oops <laughs> i put it in the wrong thing that can't be good can it oh gosh oh well it's fine hey look i got double i got double the like resources here <laughs> we're going we're going crazy right now with all the bread it's gonna be a bread utopia let's see that one says is wrong as well so i don't know i don't know if like i did something wrong here i think i did something wrong but i don't know what i have no idea we're just gonna wait for it to cook and just like see what happens with my 
with my order here. Very strange, but never mind. All right, here it is. We got our lovely crispy loaves. Very nice. But yeah, if it has an exclamation mark on it, it, it's not a good thing. It's a bad thing if it has that on it. So I'm probably not going to get full marks here. I'm pretty sure I did something wrong. But we're going to go and deliver it anyway. So yeah, we'll see what happens once we deliver it. But if anyone can tell me what I did wrong, if like you know, then do tell me because I am at a loss because I have no idea. I'm not too sure. It's very confusing for me. I wish these loading screens weren't so long. They're really, really long. <laughs> it's painful. Okay, so we got to go all the way up there. That's really far. We got a really far delivery, but we only have to really like go straight ahead. So... It should be a really easy delivery to do. We got plenty of time as well. It looks like I've got like eight minutes. Like what? <laughs> Did I really do it that fast? I have no idea. I made twice the bread as well. <laughs> so I don't know about that. I have no idea. It's fine. We're just going to go for it and just like see what happens. We made it to Uptown Bridge right now. All right, let's go. We just got to make a turning here, I believe. And we'll see if we can get there. Should we hit one of the cars? You'll see what happens when you hit the cars. See their wheels come off and everything. But you just like, your car is indestructible. Like, I don't think it can get destroyed. <laughs> but it's interesting that you can bump into people's cars like that. And like, parts of their car actually like come off and stuff. But nothing actually happens to you as far as I'm aware. Should we get this guy as well? Haha! <laughs> get rid of those wheels. You don't need them anyway. <laughs> Wheels are for losers. I think I gotta make a turning. There's a yeah, there's a a blocked pathway up there. I'm gonna make the turning on the the left actually. We'll make it once we get a bit closer. I think that would be good. So perhaps on this left, I think would be good. We'll take this turning right here and then we'll find our way up there. We'll be fine, I think. We just have to evade all the traffic so I'm just going to ride on the the pavement because I'm gangster like that <laughs> I got like these amazing buns that need delivering I don't know why the lights are flickering there I have no idea wait have I gone past it where am I going no 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 we're fine we just gotta make a turning over here I feel like I took a really long route to be honest with you but never mind do you think oh I don't know what happened there <laughs> do you think I might like do you think my buns might be cold by now <laughs> I feel like it would be. I feel like I took a while, but never mind. Damn roadblocks. Why do they have to have so many roadblocks just blocking the way like this? Why? Why do they have to torture me so? All right, watch out for the tree. Ah, oh no, there's a curb there. I didn't realize. Oh man, you're literally there. Just get out and just give the buns over. <laughs> do you really have to like be so awkward about it? I don't know. All right. Let's uh, park the car. I'm so good at parking, as you can tell. <laughs> I'm just like the best parker you, you would ever know. All right, okay. We're here. We did it. 80%. I don't know why. I think I did something wrong, but I don't know what. But it's fine. All right, we leveled. So that's good. I got a triangle bun, a morning bun, baking soda, yogurt, and a rounder divider. What's that? A rounder divider we got like a new gadget I'm looking forward to seeing what that does actually that's gonna be really interesting all right let's see let's start a new day see what we've got going here we have three silver loaves or 14 breakfast buns that's a ridiculous amount are they having a party or what <laughs> this one gives more rewards and more xp so i'm going for the three silver loaves so let's go and do do this order actually i think that would be good do i need any supplies let's check that first actually let's see how is it going um maybe okay I think we're okay at the moment, so that's good. All right, let's make this this silver loafer thing. That would be cool. So we need a lot of water. 960. Not quite as much as that, though. Let's keep going. Um, that's 900. So we also need... Did I put too much in? Why is it not... It's not letting me accept anymore. Why not? I don't have enough water talking about did i do something wrong let's start again 
I don't know entirely what happened. We're just gonna we're just gonna restart there. I'm not sure what happened there, but it's fine. Um, maybe you have to calculate it right or something. Mass isn't my strong suit. Why can I not put any more in? Maybe there's not enough. Do you have to buy water? Like really? Oh, you have to buy water. That was why. Oh man, I gotta go buy some water. I didn't have enough water. I thought I did. Is it instant? Oh, at least the water is- Oh no, it's not. Wait. Oh no, it's not. I got three minutes to wait. <laughs> I'm just confusing myself at the moment. We're fine. We're fine. I just like don't know what happened there entirely. Okay, we need a thousand of this. Uh, 1.23. Okay, let's go for 20. Um, bit confused about this one. I'm just gonna watch it on the, the right just to make sure. That is going okay. Just gonna go one gram at a time. I don't know. Like, I was a bit confused there. I think we're okay though. Let's just keep putting the grams in. We're doing okay. We're on. Is that enough? Um, it says I need a bit more, don't I? Yeah, I need a bit more, I think. Wait, is that too much? Okay, that was too much. Let's just keep going one gram at a time. Okay, that must be like perfect amount or something i don't really know we'll we'll have to see um so now we need some sourdough we need 450 sourdough so let's go for 400 and then we'll do the 50 should be the perfect amount right there now we need some salt let's go for the salt we need 36 grams wait what oh that's sugar <laughs> I put the wrong one in by accident. I didn't realize. <laughs> okay, so that's 30 grams. We need 36. There you go. Perfect. We just got a whole minute to wait for this one. Do you think it costs the same amount if you do it? If, like, if I did it now or if I like did it right at the start? Like, I don't know. I'm just going to buy it anyway. I'm, in I'm too impatient to wait for that. <laughs> um, I don't even know how much I got in here, to be honest. I don't think much. Let's just get 200. All right, let's just keep going. Okay, that's nearly enough, right? Just go for like five. All right, just a tiny bit more. I think that's good, I think. We'll just keep going until it says oh, it's too much. Let's just see. All right, that's too much. Let's remove that. All right, this should be the perfect amount. Let's go. <laughs> I had a bit of a problem getting that to work, actually. Again, my... I'm like speeding it up, but... Yeah, the marker's not there again. I don't know why. It's fine. It's all good. All right, we got our dough. So that's great. Let's put that on the thing there. Silver loaf, right. So uh, again, this probably would be under... Let me see. I need to bring up my, my bakery thing. Here it is. So this is a silver loaf. So again, it should be under this long loaf, right? It should be under long bread. It should be, should be under this one. But for some reason it said that I, I did something wrong last time. I don't really know exactly what I did wrong, but like, we'll see if it, if it works this time, we shall see. Maybe it was something I did wrong in the, the actual bread making process. I'm not really sure, but we'll find out. Let's go, let's go. Let's create the most delicious bread. It's gonna be nutritious and divine and these people are not going to know what hit them. We're going to blow their minds with our amazing feast. It's going to be spectacular, I tell you. All right, here's some muffins. All righty. Let's keep going. We're on about six minutes right now, but we're doing good. We're doing a fantastic job here. All right, we did it. Let's see. Yeah, see, I'm still doing something wrong. I don't know what. 99%. Did I not mix it enough? Is that why? No, the mixing is good. I think I might have been slightly off with some of the ingredients. Maybe. Maybe that's what I did wrong. I don't really know. But we got four lovely loaves. I was only meant to make three. <laughs> Oh well, we can read the description of this. It's not as expensive as true silver, but this doesn't mean it's less valuable. The silver loaf is both tasty and filling. What's more, it's easy to prepare. You don't have to be a top baker to make it. Just, just grab wheat flour and a sourdough starter and mix it together. A, simply, a simple formula for true success. Yeah, it looks really nice too. Let's see what it comes out like once it's done. Oh, I know. Maybe it's the... No, we are on 200. Press me. Boost. Oh. I don't know if I was... I'm probably not supposed to do that. <laughs> I don't know. 
probably going to burn it or something now. I don't really know what's going on here. I'm not sure if that's a good idea to touch. I don't know. I have no idea. I want to use this thing. I want to use this giant spatula. <laughs> it looks great. All right, we're done, right? Yeah, we're done. Here's our lovely bread. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at our beautiful bread. What do you think? Delicious, right? Would you eat it? I would eat that. Looks nice. All right, we got three silver loaves all ready for delivery. Let's go and send them out. All right, so this is today's route. We are going to, oh, this is a little bit awkward actually. We're just gonna go forward and then I'll probably take the first turning on the left. I think that would be a good idea actually. I've only got four minutes actually. It doesn't seem as long as usual. I wonder if this will get like kind of like chaotic with like the delivery and stuff. Like you have to get there like really quick or something. Maybe that would have been a better route maybe I should cross that bridge I think I'm gonna cross that bridge actually so we're going to take this turning here I think that would be for the best let me just double check this yeah we're gonna go straight down and then we're gonna take a left down there and we're going to hopefully be able to cross that bridge so that will be that would be great I'm trying not to bump into anything this time so I don't know if it like affects like what score you get. I'm not too sure. So if we go up this way, oh, that was a really tight turning, I have to say. <laughs> but we're fine, we're good. We're gonna cross this bridge here. This is gonna be a nice shortcut and hopefully should lead us right to it. So we're gonna want to turn on the next turning. So we should be good there. The reason I'm using the world, the map so much is because I can't see the mini map for some reason. Mine's like really blurry and just really hard to read. So I just use the actual world map. So that's why I'm doing that by the way. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but <laughs> that's why, because <laughs> it's a bit of a pain for me. So it's fine. It's all good. Let's see if we can make it to the marker. It's just up there. So I reckon this was actually pretty good timing actually so that's good we're in the neat alleys the cozy streets very nice and cozy indeed i like that let's deliver our lovely goods to this fine establishment just a little bit I stopped a little bit too early there there you go 79 percent why i only get 79 percent why does it not tell you what you did wrong i want to know what i did wrong score penalty why no delay it doesn't tell you what the score penalty is for though so i don't know i think i messed something up in the actual baking process but i don't know what but we leveled to five so that's good we got puppets bun puppets bread sesame or oh, sesame bread very nice we're gonna have all different types of breads going on here which is gonna be super cool actually all right Okay, I think we will stop the episode here for now, actually, and we'll do some more another time, perhaps. I actually really enjoyed this. This game only just released today as well, so I'm sure, like, the little, like snags that I've that I've like come across will get fixed in time hopefully but so far it seems like a really relaxing chill sim like cooking simulator game and I really love how in depth it goes with the cooking process of it the cooking process is really fun and I'm having a lot of fun with that and the I think the recipe book is really nice and it's really set out really well and I love the recipe book a lot I like how it shows a little picture and it's all detailed and little yeah it's just it's just really nice I really like the way it's set out so yeah it's cool I hope you enjoyed this episode thank you so much for watching let me know what you thought about this game in the comment section below and if you would like to see more of it I would really love to know thank you so much for watching I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my patreons and members for supporting the channel thank you so much I really appreciate it and if you are interested in donating there will be a link in the description box below to my patreon page Alternatively, you can also click the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel. I also have a dedicated live streaming channel that you can find in the description box below or on my channel homepage. I regularly live stream over on that channel and it would be super cool if you could stop by sometime and say hello. I would really love that. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.